Hey y'all, I wanted to talk to you today about the Singer Bias Guide and how it's used to cut bias tape. This particular one came in a set of Singer Featherweight attachments that I got recently. I also have another one that came in a box of Singer 301 attachments, but there's three lines on here. F for facing, B for binding, and C for cording. And there's directions for using this bias tape guide in the Singer library. Now the Singer sewing library was a series of booklets that came out, I think in the twenties and thirties, but in the shortcuts to home sewing, one of the booklets in the Singer sewing library, there is a section on using the bias cutting guide. So I just wanted to demo real quick how this works. Um, this slot, you slide your scissor blade on it and it takes a little bit to get it snug and it can fall off while you're cutting. If it does, you just slide it back on. But I'm gonna move this from facing to binding to the B and you just slide your fabric in the slot, line it up, and you're gonna to begin to cut. Now I've made a bias tube here, and so I'm just gonna use this tube to demonstrate. Keep it lined up, kinda of have to keep it pulled to your right. Pull your material, straighten it up. You may have to realign. Be careful, it will. You can get off and make a little chunk that's not straight, so I've noticed that. And I'm just gonna keep cutting until I get a nice bias tape strip here. So I'll keep cutting. Um, this is the binding attachment that came with my featherweight. I'm going to try sewing some of this binding once I prepare it on the featherweight. I also have the slant, sh slant shank foot that came with my Singer 301 uh, that I also want to try. It's a totally different foot, different sewing machine. And I also have a bias binding attachment for my Wheeler and Wilson number no. 8 treadle. And I'd like to try it as well. So hopefully I can come back with those videos for you later, but have a blessed day and thanks for watching.